Hi, I'm PJ Matavish, and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So today we're going to do another geologic geometry uh, question, and this is from the 2013 paper, and it's question C1. So again, we read through it. So part A, uh, the accompanying map located at the back of, of page of section A shows ground contours at 5 meter vertical intervals. ABC is the central line of a proposed roadway, and the line DE is the central line of a proposed motorway overpass. The roadway ABC has the following specifications. So the section of the roadway between A and B is level, so it's level at an altitude of 40 meters. The section from B to C has a gradient of 1 to 10 falling. Okay, so 1 to 10 falling. Using the side slopes uh, of 1 is to 1 for the cuttings and 1 is to 1.5 for the embankments, complete the earthworks necessary to, comp uh, to accommodate the roadway ABC on the northern side. Note the earthworks on the southern side of the roadway have already been completed. So, depending on how long it takes, I might do part A in one question and B and C in another video. Okay? So we'll just focus on part A for the time being. Okay, so this is our contour page here, a contour map. So A, B and C is our roadway. And DE is a proposed overpass, but that's not done later on. So the section of the roadway from A to B is level at an altitude of 40 meters. So A here is 40 meters and B is at 40 meters. And it's all level. The whole length of the road is at 40 meters. So let's see what sections are actually on. So we see here 40 is actually on the roadway. We have another 40 here. Okay, so those, those two points are actually on our contours. So let's start from the right hand side. Uh, so we're going from A over to B. So A is at 40, and then it goes 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 60, all the way back down to 40 here. So all of that there is going to be cuttings. Okay, and if you look at the question, the slopes are one to one for cutting. Okay, so one to one means every five millimeters you measure up here equals a five millimeter uh, or five meter cut or five meter increase in altitude. So let's mark in our lines. So we need one, two, three, four, five. We probably need five. So let's mark those in. Okay, so every five millimeter there in re represents a five meter increase. So this is 40, the first one is going to be 45. So find your 45 contour, that's a point here. Do we have another one over on this side? We do, that's a point there. Next one's going to be 50, so that's our 50 contour here. There's another 50 on this side. Next one's going to be 55, that's your 55 contour here. That's your 55 there. Next one up then is going to be 60. That's your 60 contour here and here. Next one is going to be 65, which is here and here. Okay, and there's no 70s, so that's all we needed. So that can be drawn in freehand lightly, and then you can go over it strong. Okay, so that is one part done. So the road is at 40 meters, and then you have to cut into the contours, into the land there to find out those heights. Next part, so from here then it's going to 40, so next contours are 35, 30, 25, 20. Sorry, 25, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So that's going to be fill. And the fill ratio was 1 is to 1.5. So if it's 1 is 1.5, that means every 5 meter drop will give, mean you have to draw a 7.5 millimeter line. So our parallel lines this time are going to be 7.5 millimeters. So they're going to be parallel to the road, so you can measure them up from the road. So. So let's see, so this is our 40, so it drops 5 mil, so that would be, or 5 meters, that's our 35 here, 
and 35 is there as well. Next one would be 30, so that's our 30 contour here. And here as well. And 25, and 25. So again, draw that in freehand lightly, and you can go with it strong. Okay, so now we need to continue on to part B. So B is turning down here from BGC, so let's continue on with that. So we have 40, next one is 45, and it's in between 45 and the 50. So that's rising again, all right? The contour is rising, so that means it's gonna be a cut. So the cuts are five mil. So I'm just gonna get the five mil from the left-hand side there, bring them over. Or from the right hand side, I should say. Or one or two. And let's see what they give us. Now, there's going to be a bit of um, emerging here of the rising, or is it falling in this case? Yeah, the falling and also the earthworks around this straight section of the road. So let's just mark them in. We won't draw them in strong yet. So this is the 40. So the first line is going to represent 45, so this is our 45 contour here. The second line is going to represent the 50 contour, so that's 50 here. And the next one is going to represent the 55, which is here. Okay, so we'll just draw them in freehand and we'll leave it light for the time being. Okay. Now, the next step, from B to C. So it says, the section from B to C has a gradient of one is to 10 falling. So one is to 10 falling. So if we write that out again here. So every 10 meters you travel along the road, it will drop one meter. Okay, so if we scale that up, we're going to get five meter drop so every 50 meters you travel on the road it'll drop five meters okay so let's mark that on our road. so 50 mil down the road from B to C it's here draw that perpendicular to the edge So if that's 50 mil down the road, it will drop five meters. So it went from 40 meters in altitude down, this now will be 35 meters. Okay, so let's look at the contours now. So it's gone from 40 down to 35. So this contour here is 50, 55, 60, 65, and so on actually. So they're all, they're all taller. So it's all gonna have to be cuts, okay, we have the cut out down to our 35. All right, and our cuttings are one is to one. Okay. Yeah, so our cuttings are one is to one. So we don't have to fill. So that means if I draw a radius five mil uh, arc there at our 35, it will represent a five mil drop. And if you draw that back to where our point B, so again it has to be perpendicular to the road there, so extend that out to find where it hits the edge of the road, extend B out. So from here, draw a tangential line from that point to the arc, and that'll give you the angle for your gradients. Basically it's these yellow lines here again, but just at an angle. So let's measure them up perpendicular to them, measure up five mil. So it's going from 40 to 35, so let's see. We're one, two, three, four, we'll do four or five anyway. So five mil, because it's a cut, five, 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 okay. And you want to be parallel to that angle. So either use your adjustable set square or your two set squares. 
and draw them in parallel. Okay, so that first line represents our 45 or 40 uh, meter line. Okay, so the next one will represent 45. So 45 is back there, but we'll continue on this side of 45 where it hits the second line there. That's a 45 mark. Next one will be 50. So let's mark 50 here, and we have 50 on this side. Second line. So let's mark them in freehand for the time being. Then we have 55, and we have another 55 over here, we do, 55 is there. Then we have 60, which is here, and there, I don't have a 65. Okay, so we'll join that in freehand lightly now. Okay, and as you can see there, the two intersect. The flat section from C, so you're showing this kind of, the earthworks through this section here. So the curve there, where it hits the curve here, that's where they intersect, that's where they stop. So it'll be strong from here to there, and then it'll continue on from the BC section. So it's strong to this point. And then you follow the contours here for the B to C section. Okay, and that is the B to C section done there. Okay, and because our road is turning at an angle, we're going to have to put in a contour there where the two meet, so where the two stop, basically. So from B to C stops here, and the flat section of the road B stops there, and this is where the curve starts. So if we join from here, straight down to that corner there, we'll show you the intersection between the two. That's going to be a straight line, because it's going to be, it's at an angle, it's not a curve. Okay, uh, that is part A of the question done. I'll do part B and C in the next video. So, that's that question done. Uh, please leave a like if it helped, I hope it did, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thank you and good luck. Thank you.